tell me a little about why you like the sheer wall in the middle. Like, why does that? It's the most expensive and the heaviest piece. So why do you like the sheer wall in the middle? Because it would hold it up best, I think. Instead of going here, it would probably bring this side down. You think it will so kind of bring that side down? Yeah. So, what is so it? it's even it in the middle. Okay, evenly. if we look know, at also, if we look at the, the features, right, the, the three things that we can use, right, what is it that makes the sheer wall different from the other ones? It's square heavier. and it takes up and the whole thing. It takes up the whole the thing. Mm -hmm. How many sides does it attach to? Four. What about the other ones? Um, two and two. I mean, right, they only attach to two and two. So, if you're using the shear wall, right, mm -hmm. you're holding up how many different sides there? Or you're, connect four. Yeah, you're connecting all four. So that's the value of the shear wall. Right. Do you mind telling me a little bit about your decisions here with the first floor? So what made you go with this design? So we were putting, thinking of putting a lot of weight on the bottom. Okay. Only because if we put a lot of weight no. on the top, it would like bring it down. We were thinking of oh. doing that so it can like hold on the weight of these two floors. Oh, I see. So you've got, you sort of established some supports on every sort of section of the ground floor oh, so I that these other ones will be able to stand up. Yeah, and it won't crush down this one. All right. And if we look at the difference, what what is the value or the difference between the gussets versus the cross beams? Gussets are less, are less weight. Maybe mm -hmm. instead of this cross beam, we could do a gusset over here and make it last money, and it would still have the same support. Well, how, just how do they support each other, though? Like, how does the cross beam... Like, what is it that's good about the cross beam to hold things up, and what is it about the... The cross beam has, like, a support at the floor. Mm -hmm. That way, it won't, like... It, there's a more chance of it holding it up than the gusset. That's why we put this one in the middle. I see. So these guys sort of go from the bottom to the top. Well, but these one, guys, what do they hold? Do they kind of they do. They just, just hold the um, top part. Right. Though they they sort of attach to the sides, right? They kind of corner it off. That's the value of the gusset. Yeah. All right. So what do we have here? Hours Was it holding itself together? Oh, oh, no dusting just yet. Right. But hours Wait, does that count as elimination? Oh, okay. What do you mean? Hours didn't like slush down, down, but hours moves a little bit down. Okay. Ignore it. It's a good question. What do you think? With that kind of elimination. We'll have to decide as a group what, a, what's a okay. Maybe we should put the other Maybe we should put gussets here. Okay. No. We're gonna stick to our plan right now because we're gonna test those. There's always the time after you get to improve. Like you have to think about what design changes you might make and try to do them again. Seven, eight. All right. Did you get eight full wavelengths? Okay. They're holding in. Okay, so far so okay. All right, ready? Mr. Musselman's gonna crank it up. I'm gonna crank it up. Let's see if I can crank it up. Here we go, we're gonna crank it up to 160 beats per second. This is a much shorter wavelength. Are we ready? Listen to the beat first. We'll get our beats with our clap and then we'll go, okay? Listen, can you clap that fast? Two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's eight steps. Complete survival. What do we do? We know. Oh yeah, you gotta keep it the way it was. You gotta keep it the way it was. Was it like that? Was it like that? What happened to yours, gang? Ours, it, all of our, the bottom all floor collapsed. Oh. Oh. Did those cross, no, no, no. No. Did cross members hold up? Did you use two cross members or just one? One, one here, two here, and then one on the that side. One oh, just out. one on the sides and ooh, it popped. What about these guys? What is your decision? We safe or not safe? Yeah, it's not like we wouldn't be crushed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go ahead. Give your team a check or a star or a check, right? Okay. Oh, careful. Can you write the Y? I think you guys are okay. That first one is pretty close, right? But your second floor and third floor look really good. So would it be a star? I need a check. 
Well, a check or a yes or a no. All right. We'll have to think of another way to do this. What would ours be? What do you think? Is this yours right here? Yeah. So, do you feel like did any of them fail more than halfway? No. So, what do you think? Is this a safe building? We know there's going to be some. Is there always going to be some damage? Of course, right? We need to reduce that damage, right? We can't make anything earthquake proof. But if we can limit the damage, that's a good thing. All right? Go ahead, fill it in. Give yourself, a, give yourself an A-OK. -okay.